Hey, what's up guys? Adam here, and this is going to be Google Fiber Explained. So back in 2012, there was a lot of hype about Google Fiber. And for those of you who don't know what Google Fiber is, it is basically another media service provider. And basically a media service provider is a service that allows you to get a package for your phone, your TV, and your broadband. And the four biggest players that are here in the UK are Virgin Media, BT, Sky, and Talk Talk. And each of those individual providers offer a basic package a medium package and a premium package similar to Google Fiber but Google Fiber is slightly different in the way they arrange their packages so package number one or the basic package uh, allows you to make a one-off payment of $300 and with that you're going to get five megabits down and one megabit up it's just the internet so you're not going to get any TV or phone that's just purely the broadband connection and you get that that fixed payment for that, that fixed payment of $300 you're going to get seven years of internet, or I think it's seven to eight years of internet connection, and you don't have to pay any monthly fee, uh, fee after that, it's just an installation fee, and you get the service for the next seven to eight years. And that's pretty much gonna be convenient for those people who don't really use the internet too much. They, they tend to use it you know, now and then, and it's not really something that's gonna be too much of a downer on them considering the really low download and upload speeds. But I would kind of argue that package is not really suitable for those, you know, it's not really suitable for the 2015 media consumer who's mainly using, you know, watching YouTube videos, doing a lot of heavy social media, you know, even sometimes in some cases editing videos. So I would say that that package, package number one for Google Fiber, is not really the best package to go with due to the low upload and download speeds. So package number two is where Google really start to kick up their game and with that package you're going to pay a $70 a month fee so you're going to pay $70 each month and again it's only going to be broadband so you're not going to get any phone or TV with this package it's going to be purely broadband but here is where the big money is and you're going to get 1000 megabits up and 1000 megabits down. Now in case you'd fallen asleep I'm going to go ahead and repeat that again you're going to get 1000 megabits up and 1000 megabits down. That is pretty much insane. Now, look, take a look at it this way. Now, most providers anyway here in the UK, for example, the highest you can really get to is around 150 megabits uh, down and one about 10 megabits up. So that's kind of the perspective you're gonna be kind of looking to compare that to. The things are really much capped at 150 megabits if you're lucky. Now there are some kind of abbreviations that there's some like kind of anomalies. So like schools and universities will tend to get slightly higher than that, but the general consumer is pretty much capped at 150 down and around 10 up. Just think of the possibilities of 1,000 up and 1,000 down. I mean, being able to download uh, yeah, 1,000 down is going to be something really insane because you know if you're someone who downloads a lot of media, it can take a really long time to go ahead and download a single file if your internet connection is really low when it comes to download speeds. And uploading is an even bigger headache because if you're uploading you know, high-res images, videos you know 4k video even 1080p video and you know high-res music files it can take quite a long time to upload consider that considering that the upload speed is always a lot slower than the download speed so to have a thousand megabits up is insane i mean uploading youtube videos would be a breeze uploading things onto social media would also be a breeze as well it'd be just insanely quick so package number three is pretty much everything you get in package number two plus Google TV. Now I'm not quite sure how Google TV works uh, in terms of being able to get mainstream channels because a lot of mainstream channels anyway here in the UK for example even international channels that we get over here in the UK tend to be only available on satellite TV and cable TV and I'm not quite sure how it's going to work with Google TV because it's more of an internet provided service through TV rather than your typical cable and satellite. So I'm not quite sure that's going to work in comparison to the other medias that would be ever so offered here. But Google claim that their Google TV offered is a really crispy HD so I guess that could be a seller for you I guess it could be but anyway that's pretty much package number three okay so you're probably thinking to yourself okay why can't I get my hands on Google Fiber it sounds really fantastic you know it sounds versatile why is this really not advertised all around the world and then pretty much the main reason is Google themselves they've actually limited it to a few cities in the US and I believe some of them are Kansas City Salt Lake City and Atlanta there are a few more but all of them are listed actually on Google Fiber website so you can go ahead and check those out but of course I can't get it in here in the UK let alone Europe so it's pretty much difficult for me to you know make a judgment on Google Fiber since 
I am not eligible to get it, even though it sounds really fantastic to, get, to try and get my hands on. Unfortunately, Google uh, has only limited it to a few cities in the US. So to this day, I still don't really know why Google have only chosen those few cities to you know experiment with google fiber i mean it probably would have made more sense to go ahead and choose capital cities of various countries uh, to try and get a better spread of how people use google fiber rather than just selecting you know a few cities within the us it's kind of like they pretty much put all the names into a hat and pick them out at random you know it's kind of really i don't understand why they've actually chosen that kind of selection method. So I'm not sure whether Google has any prospects of actually, you know, expanding their horizon for Google Fiber outside of those few cities within the US. I guess it's going to be kind of like a waiting game. We're waiting for get Google to go ahead and release uh, certain information, <coughs> Google Glass. So anyway guys, that's pretty much been Google Fiber explained. If you enjoyed then definitely be sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, go ahead and subscribe if you want to go ahead and see more tech videos like this. Thank you for watching. Take care. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next tech video. Bye for now.